the people were to stand still. All attempts to help must end. All activities of the flesh must cease. Our faith has to rest on Christ as our deliverer. If they were to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he was going to show them that day. Church, in spite of the terroristic acts that are going on, in spite of the struggles in our churches, in spite of victory is ours today. If we would only put our faith in Jesus as our help. Well, as I come to a close, Moses told the children of Israel to stand still. For the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more. So Moses decided to do some one-on-one -on -one contact with the ruler of the universe. He talked to God, and God asked him, Moses, What's that in your hand? Moses said, I just got this old rod in my hand. God said, Moses, take the rod and go down by the sea. And when you get there, just stretch out, stretch out, stretch out your rod. I come by here to tell you today that every now and then, you got to stretch out your rod, church. Stretch out your rod. Look at Moses stretching out his rod down by the sea. All of a sudden, a divine current, a divine current comes from the end of the rod. God himself spoke a liquid language, and the waters began to congeal. Uh, like, like jello and back up on both sides and a highway was formed in the raging Red Sea. Then God grabbed an east wind and found the bottom of the sea dry and the children of Israel walked across the Red Sea on dry land. But Pharaoh's army, hey, hey, Pharaoh's army was still in hot pursuit. Yeah, yeah. One thing about it, my friend, one thing about it, when God makes a way, no matter what anyone does, they cannot take it away from you. They cannot stop you when God makes a way. When we make all these plots and scams, they don't really turn out right because God is not in it. But when God makes a way, no matter what anyone does, it's sure. Ah, wondering when God makes it. Look, look at the children of Israel. Look at them going across the Red Sea. But look at Pharaoh's army. Still in hot pursuit. But, but wait a minute, wait a minute. After the children of Israel got across, something strange began to happen. God told Moses to stretch his rod out once more. And when he did, the waters began to come together again and drown the Egyptians and their horses in the Red Sea. Somebody said, oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you mourn. Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you mourn. Why, preacher, Pharaoh's army got drowned. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God did it for them, and I want to believe he will do the same for you. I have seen God drown habits. I have seen God drown smoking, drugs, lying, pornography, hatred, fornication, adultery, stealing, and many other things. And if he can do that for others, I'm here to tell you today that he can do the same for you. 
All you've got to do is stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He may not show up when you want him, but he's such a God that he will show up on time. Stand still and see salvation of the Lord. That's what God wants you to know today. No matter what comes or how difficult the times may be, you just stand still and watch God work for you. He may not come when you want him, but the answer is on its way. I believe God sent me here to talk to you. I believe. Thanks. I believe, yes, thank you, preacher. God sent me here to encourage somebody this afternoon. I don't know who you are, where you are, or what you've been going through, or are going through, but I know that God knows. And, and you know, one thing we need to do as Christians, we need to have faith in God. We need to trust him. We need to exercise our faith, not just talk about it, but we need to live it. And this afternoon, as everyone stand with me, as you stand up to your feet, this afternoon, I believe there's somebody here who want, you have fallen backwards. You have fallen backwards. You have fallen away from the Lord. But he is there. He's waiting with open his arms. He's calling you. He's saying, come back home. Where are you? Who are you? He says, come as you are. Um, uh, it, it is well with my soul, please. 530. This afternoon, you may be struggling. You don't have to worry about who is watching you, but you want to make a recommitment of your life to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When I had the opportunity to do that, I did it. And look what God has done for me. Took me from an 18, 18 year habit of smoking marijuana, sent and dressed me up, fixed me up, got me a wife, sent me off to Oakwood University and I choose to receive a master's degree and to come here and speak to you and let you know that when I received my salvation, I left some for you. This man who should have been six foot on the ground is standing still right now because God came through for me and he will come through for you. As we sing this song, regardless of what you're going through, maybe you want to recommit your life to Jesus Christ. Maybe you want to commit it the first time. Maybe you have fallen away. Maybe you're a member of another church and you want to transfer your membership here. Whatever, if you fall anywhere in that category, as we sing, just come out of your seat and talk to the Lord. Give me your hand and give God your heart. Wherever you are, let us sing, church. My sorrows like sea. Like sea billows roll. Billows roll. Whatever. Come on down. Come. It, it is well. Is it well? With my soul. With my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. 
Yes, sing, church. My sin. My sin. Oh, your sin. Joy of this of glorious. His glory. What happened to it? Yes, thought. My sin. My sin. Not in part. In but part, the whole of it. Where is it, preacher? Where is it? Oh, hallelujah. Cross. To the cross, and I bear it no more. And I bear it no more. No more. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise him. Praise the him. Lord. Praise, praise him. the Lord. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. Oh, is it well? Is it well? Is it well? It is well. Is it well? Is it well? With my soul, my soul. It, it is well, it is well with, with my soul. Okay, okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. Somebody's playing games. One minute. You know, up in Antigua, I heard preacher last Sabbath he made an appeal and he spoke so many things about how so often times we have a chance to to make our calling an election show but we get caught up with who's looking at us and we say no I ain't gonna get up because people were looking at me well you may leave here, and you know we live in New York. You may leave here and go outside, and, and some getaway bullet or getaway car hits you, and hey, you had a chance to make a recommitment of your life to Jesus. But you say, no, make the preacher sit down. As we sing this last stanza, I don't know who you are. If I knew who you were, I would come and get you. But God is calling you this afternoon. Satan is not your God. He shouldn't be your God. He has nothing to offer you but trouble. But God is ever loving, forgiving, patient, loving, and kind. And he, in spite of what you have done this past week, and maybe even thinking about doing tonight, God still loves you. And I'm asking you, because he sent me, I'm asking you, come show him how much you love him. Get out of your seat. Get out of your seat. Tell him you want to be in his kingdom when he comes. Come, we're going to sing this last stanza, and I want you to move. Move from your seat. Come on down and shake my hand. Come. Let us sing. Let's sing. And Lord, Lord haste the day, the day when my faith shall be sight. Shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back. The clouds be rolled As back. As the scroll. As the scroll. The trumpet is going to sound. The trump shall resound. And the Lord, and the Lord shall descend. Shall descend. Even so. Even so. It is still well. It is well with my soul. My soul. It's up to you now.
We want to thank the Lord for the message and the messenger. God have really used the preacher to speak to us today. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Let us bow our head while we have the benediction. Father God, we thank you for the hours spent in your courts. We thank you for your words that came to us today. As we are standing, Lord, we ask to give us faith to be able to see that you can do above and beyond what we ever ask or think. We pray, O oh God, that when we reach to our Red Sea, that we will believe that you are able to open our Red Sea. And as we are praying and standing today, Lord, there are many of us who are going through our Red Sea. Some of us are just coming out of our Red Sea, and some of us, Lord, are going in. We ask, O oh God, that you will keep us, protect us, and guide us until we reach that golden shore. Our home is not upon this earth. Our faith look to you because we believe that soon and very soon you will come. Lord, I pray today that if there's anyone under the hearing of my voice who should have made an attempt and come down and give themselves to you and they did not do it, that before this day is over, before this prayer is closed, that they will commit themselves to you. Thank you again for the preacher. Thank you for the word that comes to us. And now, God, as we go, go with us and bring us back into your sanctuary to worship you. Thank you for the word of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. Amen, church. Benediction. Now may the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace, now and forever. In Jesus' name. Amen.